A good morning, grade 8 learners. Welcome to Valenzuela Life Science Day. I am Sir Albert Saginsin from Polo National High School, your virtual science teacher for today. For today's lesson, you will learn to explain the properties of solids, liquids, and gases based on the particle nature of matter. Specifically, you will learn to represent through drawing or illustration the particle nature of matter. Here are a few reminders before we start with our discussion. First one is use the comment box in asking and answering questions. Second is to use appropriate words when chatting in the comment section. Last time, you have learned what is matter, its compositions, and properties. Let us have some recap about these topics. React, heart, if the statement is true, react like if the statement is false. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one, matter is anything that has mass and volume. Is it true or false? Is it hard or light? Very good. The answer is hard. It is true. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Number two, physical properties can be observed by changing the composition of matter. Is it hard or light? Great. The answer is like react. It is false because physical properties can be observed without changing the substance into another substance. Number three, density is the measurement of mass of an object per unit volume. Is it true or false? Is it hard or light? Correct. It is true. It is hard react. Number four, ductility is a chemical property. Is it true or false? Is it hard or light? Very good. Ductility is a physical property and the answer is like react. While chemical properties can be identified by changing the composition of matter. And last number, Matter is made up of small particles. Is it true or false? Is it hard or light? Great job. It is true. Matter is composed of tiny particles. You really learned so much from our last discussion. Very good. Now, let us have an activity called Next in Life. Guess what or could is the next in line based on the given sequence, pattern, or arrangement. You can type your answer in the comment section. Are you excited? Let's begin. Based on the number of sides, what shape is the next in line? We have triangle, square, and pentagon. What shape? is the next in line. According to the number of sides, the shape next in line is hexagon. Very good. Next. Based on the sequence, who is the president next in line? We have Ex-President Joseph Ejercito Estrada. We have Gloria Macapagad Arroyo. Benigno Aquino III. Again, who is the president next in line? Very good. According to the sequence of the president of the Philippines, the next president is President Rodrigo Duterte. Shapes vary in terms of the number of sides or pattern it has. The president vary in terms of their sequence and time, just like how arrangement of particles determines the states of matter. And these states are solid, liquid, gas, plasma, voice, Einstein condensate. In some books, you may find more states of 
matter. But for today, we will be focusing only on the three basic states of matter. These are the solid, liquid, and gas. To understand and describe the particle nature of matter and the states of matter, scientists use the particle model of matter. Particle model of matter is a theory and illustrations that represents the motion and properties of matter with regards to its states. As we all know, solid has definite shape and volume because its particles are tightly packed and close to each other. As you can see on the particle model of solid, the particles are close to each other because they contain its strongest force of attraction compared to the particles of solid, liquid, and gas. Having tightly particles, the spaces between particles of solid are too small, making solid incompressible, meaning the spaces are so small which the particles have no enough space to move into when force and pressure is applied. Aside from this, the particles of solid only vibrates in a fixed position containing less energy. Examples of solids are rock and also wood. Can you give another example of solid? You can comment your answer. Very good. Next one is liquid. Liquid has indefinite shape but has definite volume. It only takes the shape of the container you put it into with maintaining the volume it has. As we can see on the particle model of liquid, the particles are arranged slightly loose, having small spaces as compared to solid. This is due to average force of attraction it has. Same as solid, the particles of liquid are incompressible due to small spaces it has. The particles of liquid move slide past each other, which explains why liquid has the ability to flow as the particles are not arranged in a fixed position. Unlike solid and gas, the particles of liquid contains an average energy. Examples of liquid are water and also milk. Can you give another examples of liquid? You can comment your answer. Very good. Some of you might answer soda, soft drinks, and other liquidated materials. Next one is gas. Gas has indefinite shape and indefinite volume because as you can see on the particle model of gas, the particles are very far from each other due to having the weakest force of attraction in its particles. Next one, gas particles are very far from each other so it can be compressed because particles have large spaces between them so they can move into. The particles of gas are freely moving in straight line paths. In the process of moving, these particles might collide with each other or with the walls of the container changing the direction of its motion and bounds due to collision. And also, unlike solid and liquid, the gas particles contain the highest energy. This explains why gas spreads quickly and can take the shape of the container just like in a balloon. Examples of gas are air inside a balloon and also a steam. Can you give another example of gas? You can comment your answer. Very good. Some of you answer oxygen and carbon dioxide. Those are examples of gas. To sum it up, let us have this table of matter to compare and contrast the three basic states of matter according to its property. The first column contains the shape or the properties of matter, while the following columns are the three states of 
matter. Let's begin. First one is the shape. Solid has a definite shape, while liquid and gas has indefinite shape as it only takes the shape of the container. Next one is the volume. Solid and liquid has a definite volume, while gas has indefinite volume due to its spacing. Third one is the particle spacing. Solid particles are tightly arranged, leaving two small spaces between these particles. Liquid particles are arranged loosely, having small spaces between them, while gas particles are very far from each other. In terms of energy, solid has the least energy as it is placed in fixed position. Liquid contains an average amount of energy, making it move, nudging one another. And last one is the gas. It has the highest energy among the three basic states of matter. Since solid is tightly packed, the particles have a strong force of attraction, holding the particles together. Liquid has an average force of attraction having loose arrangement of particles, while gas has a weak force of attraction. That is why gas particles have large spaces between them. Next property is the movement of particles. Solid particles vibrate in fixed position, maintaining its shape. Liquid particles can slide past or diffuse each other, making liquid to flow. While gas particles are freely moving and it can bounce due to collision with other gas particles or with the walls of the container. And last one is compressibility. This is the ability of matter to be compressed or reduce the volume and size under intense pressure and force. Solid is incompressible because there are very small spaces between particles. Same as solid, liquid is incompressible, having small spaces between particles. Among the three, gas is highly compressible. Why? As it, it has large gaps between its particles. From this illustration, scientists formulated the basic principle of particle nature of matter. And these are, first, matter is made up of small particles. Second, these particles are moving all the time. Third, there is an empty space in between these particles. And last one, there are forces that act between the particles. In general, the three states of matter differ because of the arrangement and motion of the particles in each state. Now that you know well the particle nature of matter, let us wrap up our lesson by this activity. Am I SLG, solid, liquid, or gas? Identify the following statement and illustration whether it pertains to solids, liquids, or gases. Type your answer in the comment section. Let's begin. Number one, my particles are tightly close together. Am I solid, liquid, or gas? You can type in your answer. Very good. The answer is solid. Number two, my particles are very far from each other. Am I solid, liquid, or gas? Great. The answer is gas. Number three, my particles move fast, slide each other. Am I solid, liquid, or gas? You can type in your answer. Amazing. It is 
liquid. Next up, my particles vibrate in a fixed position. Hmm. Am I solid, liquid, or gas? Comment your answer. Yes. Good job. It is solid. Next. My particles are freely moving and it contains high energy. Am I solid, liquid, or gas? Comment your answer. Good job. It is gas. Last one. My particles are slightly loose having tiny spaces between them. Am I solid, liquid, or gas? Type in your answer. Great. It is liquid. For our exit task, draw the party. Particle nature of matter. Here are the instructions. First one, give at least one example of solid, liquid, and gas. Second, draw or illustrate the particle nature of matter by using dots or small circles. These dots or small circles will represent the particles of matter. Third one, provide a brief explanation or description of your drawing. And last one, take a picture of your work and send it to your subject teacher. Are we clear? Very good. For this time, I will be answering questions from the comment section. From Polo National High School, how does temperature affect the movement of particles of matter? Temperature and movement of particles of matter has a directly proportional relationship. As the temperature increases, the particles move faster. As the temperature decreases, the movement of particles slows down. Second question from Bagbagi National High School. Given that solid is incompressible, what happens if you apply intense pressure to a solid object? If you apply intense pressure to a solid object, the object might break or bend into another shape yet still having its volume. Thank you so much for your participation and see you all next week for another episode of Valenzuela Life Science 8. Stay safe and God bless.